What is up guys, Ian here from Co-Create Today, taking your mindset from a place of lack to a place of abundance. Today I just want to talk about this concept of being open-minded. Now what does that mean? Well, if you know what extroversion and extra or introversion is, you know that extroversion's very high energy, they, they find their energy with other people. It's, it's very, uh, a very social type of individual. And an introvert is a, a person who kind of likes to be by themselves, kind of uh, quiet around big parties and finds themselves in solitude and whatnot. But there's this concept called open-mindedness. And it's an idea of where you have two sides of the spectrum. You got a side, you got up, you got down. But a good way to understand open-mindedness is realizing that there's two ends of the poles and understanding that you're, you're talking about the pole. <laughs> so open-mindedness is an extroverted introvert. It's this individual who um, can see both sides of things and doesn't lean towards one another but stays grounded and can pick for whatever he wants to at his will. And I think the, the idea of open-mindedness uh, for myself is in a lot of aspects. Like, I don't uh, really consider myself an extrovert. I don't really consider myself an introvert. Um, I don't really consider myself uh, like a straight, like I have um, a direct real, uh, like religion. I'm very open-minded when it comes to those things. Like I, like I feel like when I say I'm something, like oh, I'm that. For me, that's literally saying everything that I'm not, and I don't like that. I, I feel like it's very limiting. But I will say that my faith is in, is growing incredibly stronger every single day. But that doesn't mean that I'm one thing. It's, it means that I, I take attributes of a lot of things and take them for my own well-being. And this idea of open-mindedness uh, puts you in a position where you're not really you're not really a victim of anybody but yourself you got to realize that you're your own victim and whether or not you uh, take advantage of that or you let it take advantage of you is the difference between coming out of it stronger than ever or uh, letting it defeat you and I'm sure there's people who have let it gone go too far where this um, idea of just like, oh, I'm my own person, I can believe in whatever I want, I can do whatever I want. It might get them in uh, some trouble if they don't have proper uh, morals. And I think the idea of open-mindedness uh, is very, very, like, a, like it's in its name, open. but there needs to be like concrete moral integrity when it comes to um, living a lifestyle that's very open. And that's the biggest thing for me right now. It's just like living off my, um, my, my most important like values. And I think the values that I have created for myself uh, will never be broken because I, I understand what it takes to be who I am, but also what it takes to get away from that and become a whole other person. And I'm not trying to be anybody else. I'm just trying to be more like grounded with who I am. And that needs to be uh, adjusted and it needs to be held down with moral and values. So how can one shift over to this open-mindedness idea? Well, 
first of all, don't think, don't take anything seriously. Um, I think that's probably the biggest thing for me when it comes to uh, hearing people's perspectives. It's like you, you can think that way. I, I have nothing against what you have to say. Um, matter of fact, I'm sure you can say something that actually helps me in the long run. Maybe you, maybe you have something that um, that I don't maybe agree with, but that doesn't mean that I can't learn from it. So understanding that, like, you know, when you take life seriously, serious things tend to happen. And I'm not trying to have my life just crumble before my eyes. I'm trying to just be very um, fluid with just life in general. I just want to be able to appreciate what is out there and I want to be able to live my life to the fullest, giving people value, giving people love, showing people appreciation. And, you know, it might be hypocritical for me to say that, but I mean, yes, I can be very nice, I can be very loving and stuff, but like, know that that there's two sides of the spectrums. And that's, that's this, the whole idea of this video is being open-minded. It's, it's knowing that when there's two sides of one thing, when there's an up and a down, you can't take either of them seriously because you know that there is a counter part to every like specific individual essence. So you know that because there's a light means that there's a dark so it implies something and i think because we we live in a very like material world we like to take things seriously because it's it's very real and i have nothing against that but i know that because there's a guitar right there i know that there's, there's maybe music, something that's coming out of that, making that into fruition. And the idea of it is like, I'm not gonna take that serious because I know, and I can even construct it with my brains. That's just like a wave particle. That's, it's literally breaking it down to atoms. It's either a particle or a wave. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, pick whichever which one it is but I know that like in the depth of things everything is kind of just a wave because there is no true density there's no true particle it's all uh, mashing together and intertwining together and never really being concrete and fermented and I don't know this this video is just for you to understand that like there's two sides of things and you know as as an open individual I, I basically can say whatever I want to due to the fr freedom of speech that I have and um, I think that's just another reflection of being open-minded but you have to realize that the second step is to uh, be open to receive and what you receive might not be always positive it might be incredibly negative it might be just shunning you and it might be might just be uh life altering when it comes to things but you got to realize that that's for you to grow so and this goes back to the polarity for you to grow you have to have resistance and it might not seem like like that should be true but it, it's it's like a seed that's been planted. That seed has to resist the concept of gravity and come out of uh, the soil to grow. Now, understanding that, you know, you gotta have resistance in your life and, you know, things will, will be thrown your way and it's your, it's your, your opportunity to decipher how you're going to react to that. And I, I know as an open person, 
you're going to grow no matter what. So that the last step is to be yourself. Don't be anybody else. Uh, I talked to, in a video the other day with Angus. It's, it's, it's not that we have a million masks that we're trying to get rid of. It's, it's like we have a million masks that we're trying to intertwine and create this, this string, this rope, this, this efflorescence of who we are. And all those combined create that. But when we're someone else and we're trying to uh, maybe like act a certain way to impress certain people or act a way to fit in, that's going to pull us farther and farther away from who we really are. And as an open person, I, I feel like who we are is, is really just a really great uh, reflection of our God and who we are inside. So I think that once we become ourselves and become very uh, translucent, really, um, really kind of the veil is lifted, we really can start to be ourselves wherever. And because we're ourselves, People can come into our lives and they can either love us or they can hate us. But uh, uh, either or is great because the people that will love you will stay. And the people that don't like you will run for the hill. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I actually um, am grateful that there's that two sides of things. Like There's people that are going to stay and there's going to be people that are going to leave. And if those people want to leave, have a great life. But those people who want to stay, I, I understand. It's just like, okay, you're the other side of the spectrum. Like, here is who I am. Um, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm saying. If you want to take this for um, your own best benefit, please do. But realize that I'm going to keep on doing whatever I'm, gonna, I'm doing. You can say whatever you want, but that's not going to change my work habit. And um, that's just this mindset you need to have. It's like... When you're open-minded, no one can affect you. No one out external is going to be able to uh, like limit your beliefs. No. You are your own best asset. You're your own best judge and your own, your own best um, friend. <laughs> so until you realize that, then the power is someone else's. So gain back that power, become a little more open-minded than you typically are. And I will tell you for a fact that it'll open new avenues and new ventures in your life. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. Or other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I'll catch you later. Namaste.